Okay, so we're back. We're going to talk about the uh, transducer setup, like I said a minute ago, and we'll go over it. And uh, I want to show you this. This will be a lot more. This will make a lot more sense once you get it, actually get your hands on it. So, uh, but we'll take a look at it real quick. So we've got our fluid line over here still. Uh, I'm going to kind of pull this out of the way. Uh, that's again going into our Ranger with our two extensions on it and our blood tubing. So the transducer setup is like this. Here's your 500cc bag and your pressure bag. And we've got our two ports here. One is for the triple transducer, which are the first three ports over here. And then the other port is for our flow track, our Edwards. And it goes into the far right port on our hemopod. So just looking at these from our triple transducer, what you'll have here from left to right is you'll have on the left, you've got your radial A-line. Uh, we usually put that in in pre-op. you got your CVP next. Third, you've got your retrograde. Uh, and you'll get that line after, uh, after work, uh, asleep and up and running. And then fourth, you've got your flow track, which will go to your femoral or to your line. Um, if you remember in the setup stuff, I said to grab an extra tubing, a long piece of uh, extension tubing, and an extra stop cock. Those go on to the end of your radial line. So you can see from the radial line, I'm just going to follow this out. Uh, there is our first stop cock. Normally, there's a short piece of tubing after this. Uh, what you'll do is take that off and you'll add the long extension tubing here. And you can't really see it real well. But you'll add that and you'll add another stopcock at the end of this long extension tubing. And you'll take this short piece that came off of your original tubing from your three-way uh, triple transducer. You'll take that short piece off, add this long piece, add a uh, three-way stopcock, and then put the short piece of tubing at the very end. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you can disconnect, after you primed it, disconnect there at the last triple transducer and take this small piece out to uh, pre-op with you. So after you do our, your arterial line, you can connect it here so that you don't have to take the whole pressure bag out with you. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So after you've got this all primed and ready, you can disconnect or we'll turn it off here. And we will try to do this with one hand. It's not going to work. Disconnect it. And so what you'll have is this short piece of tubing. And I usually put a flush on the end of this. And you can take this out to pre-op holding with you. Uh, and after your arterial lining is in, you can just connect this and tape it down. So again, just to cover it, we've got our 500cc bag, our pressure bag, our triple transducer that goes here and fills these first uh, three spots over hemopod, and then our flow track, which goes into the far right, um, and that'll be, like I said, for our femoral line. So again, from left to right, your transducers are your radial A-line, CVP, retrograde, and our femoral arterial line on the flow track. Uh, after this, I'll show you how to connect these transducers uh, to the Edwards monitor uh, to make sure you're getting the right input there. Okay, to connect our transducers, again, on the left, we've got our radial arterial line. In the back of our hemopod, you'll see our four connections that correspond with our four transducers. So, on the radial arterial line, we'll just take the pressure, the half of the pressure uh, cable that comes down, and connect it straight into the back of our first spot. So that'll be our radial line. You cannot connect the femoral line and the radial at the same time in Epic because it'll cancel them out and it won't port it, import anything. So what we do is, once we get the patient back here in the sleep, we'll connect our I want to begin it back here, and they've got their A-line in. We'll connect our radial A-line here. Next is the CVP. 
the CVP actually connects to the Edwards monitor and there is a cable that comes off of the Edwards. The Edwards is situated behind our anesthesia machine. It's over here and there is a long gray cable that runs across in the floor behind the anesthesia machine and it comes out over here. So the Edwards cable looks like this. It is hanging up usually either on the floor or hanging off of our Infinity XL monitor that we use to monitor. Um, so here's what the Edwards cord, the cable looks like. And going back to our CVP and our transducers, on the Edwards monitor, there's two blue, co two blue cords and then one green one. These two blue cords get split between the CVP of our triple transducer. And what I mean by that is we'll go up here to our blue CVP transducer. And we will follow this down and you'll see again, coming off the blue here. I'm going to follow this down. You have your male and female ends for your connections. Now normally you just plug them up like this to get a reading on your uh, Infinity XL monitor. But when you're using the Edwards, what you do is you take these two pieces for the CVP and you split them with these two blue cords from your uh, Edwards monitor. So I'm gonna have to use both hands here and I'll hook them up and show you. So here is what our Edwards looks like. Once this comes back in focus. So here's what the Edwards looks like with the pieces connected properly. You can see our Edwards, uh, our CVP transducer. And you've got one end coming down here. This connects to our Edwards line, Edwards cable here. And this other blue line connects to this part of our CVP. So this part of the CVP goes down to this blue piece from our Edwards cable. And then the other part of our CVP, the part that would normally come out back, goes to the other blue piece of our Edwards. So that's what I mean by the CVP getting split on the Edwards cable. The input and output get connected to the Edwards cable. And that just leaves one green cable here that comes off the Edwards. And that one goes on the color-coded part of the flow track. So there's a flow track. Off of the flow track, you'll notice there are two cables that come off. There is a green and a red cable. This is nice and easy. The green just matches up to the green on the flow track. So, when our Edwards is connected properly, you've got the green cord coming off the flow track into the green port, makes it easy. And you've got the CVP, the two blue CVP, that get split between our CVP inputs and outputs that come off the hemopod. So that is how you hook up the Edwards. The, other, the only other thing that you'll have left is this red cord off of the uh, flow track. And what we do there is when the femoral line is in, we will disconnect the radial A line, which we already have connected here. We'll disconnect that and we will connect the red off the femoral line onto its corresponding input in the back. So straight behind it. So that will give us a femoral line reading and we won't have uh, the radial line and the femoral line both imported into EPIC and canceling each other out. The last thing is the retrograde transducer and that is just like the radial A line, really straightforward. 
one cord that comes down and one cord that corresponds to it in the back off the human pot. Just connect those straight. So when this is all set up, this is what it looks like. Radial A-line on the far left comes straight down and connects to the transducer input strip directly behind it. The CVP is where most of the Edwards stuff comes in. You'll take the gray, the gray Edwards cable and connect the two ends of the CVP to the two blue cords off the Edwards cable. The other cord coming off the Edwards cable is the green cord and it connects to the green the green input on your uh, on your flow track. The retrograde cord cable comes straight down and connects to the corresponding input behind it and then the red on the flow track goes to the cable directly behind it for the femoral line. So that is how to set up the pressure lines for any of the heart cases we do back here. Um, it's probably honestly the most confusing part for people when they're starting out. I hope this helps and that's basically the setup for blood tubing and the pressure, pressure lines for any of the uh, pump cases that we do back here.